what's the main difference as a coach is what sort of you know coaches he is um bernie compared to mckellar what's that sort of main difference between the two of them um i think the biggest difference is that he's yeah he's just a like a calmer personality you yeah know, he's just like you know they talk about being cool calm and collected like that's like that's bernie you know and i think that's probably the experience that he's had over in Munster as well and the way that he's he's um grown in that yeah. in that head coach role yeah um it's been awesome having him back but he's come in and i think over the preseason and throughout january um he didn't he didn't change much in the program because what he yeah. understood was that um it wasn't a broken program yeah um but in saying that we didn't win the final you know we haven't won super rugby so there were still gaps where where we were missing and that was yeah. um he spent a lot of his time trying to id that um over new over november over, over december and when the wallaby boys came back as well had those yeah. communications and connections there to make sure that where he added his values um you know it, it was is going to be most influential for everyone um and I think that was also him trying to, um, you know, get respect from the coaches as well and try and get yeah. an understanding of, um, yeah, the way that they've been coaching in the past, you know, not and and, and not wanting to change too much. So you, um, he's been he's, he's been really good for us. Can you sort of touch on any of the stuff that maybe he's highlighted, or is it sort of too too sensitive stuff to put out there? Like what no, what I stuff like, change? I think from it's it's just different when you have like a past player as a, as a head coach and one that's um, lived and breathed, like he's, he's a Brumbies legend, you know, yeah. and, and, and a Wallaby legend as well, you know, and um, like when he, when he says things, you know, it, it hits home, you know, like for the boys. Um, he talks, he's been talking a lot about um, staying present and staying in the moment and um, having a, having an off switch. So then when, when, when you're around the meeting space or, Walking around HQ, you're just acting like your normal self off the field, but then having that ability to turn turn that on straight away, and that's probably something that we haven't um, really nailed in the past. We've always yeah. kind of once you walk in the building, you've been on nearly the whole day, and it's so hard to maintain, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're trying to get that understanding now of, of how that looks, but he's he's brought that in from the start. Um, yeah, cool. You know, staying present, staying in the moment, and I think when boys just asking questions about the game and how he used to um you know approach games um like that's awesome you know coming from his perspective as well yeah he was uh he was obviously your first Brumbies coach I think he was there 2014 to 2017 before he obviously joined the Wallabies and then went overseas are there obvious key differences as a player particularly in the leadership group in terms of how he goes about his work or kind of how he sets up his his Maybe not his programs, given you said there's there's not big changes, but maybe how he's looking at the game tactically or anything like that. Well, the, I said the, I said to him um, the other day, like when he first came back, um, I think someone had asked me. I was sitting next to him, like uh, like has, has he changed since when you first in twenty fourteen? And I was like, mate, to be honest, like I was just one of the young lads coming through, and you know, he just wanted to get a crack. You know, I was I hardly had any time talking to him because that wasn't really my job you know it was mm. just, I was getting the feedback from leaders and um and now like when he's come back it's, it's actually you know for him he was like yeah like I, I saw you in your first camp you know as a as like a, on, on a rookie contract and now you're the captain you know so yeah I think that's been the biggest change like going from um having little conversation with him um to then now speaking to him nearly every day you know and asking him about the program and um, you know where 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 we need to be better. Um, yeah. you know for the following weeks. Um, but I've always heard that he was he was quite tough to talk to at the start, and I was like, oh, I, I don't know what that meant, you know. But he's actually been pretty good, you know. So. Yeah, right. 